Hello everybody and welcome back to another horror manga review. Or rather, not so much a review, but this time we're actually going to be looking at a few horror manga titles that are going to be coming up uh, throughout the next several months uh, between now and the early 2022 season. So these are all horror manga that you can keep on your radar to pick up uh, in the relatively near future. And uh, there's some pretty popular works by some pretty popular authors, so I think there are uh, some titles you're not going to want to miss. So the uh, first title on our list is Censor by Junji Ito. This is a work that he's put out in Japan recently. It's one of his newer series and I'm super excited that we're going to be getting this in English. It's going to be published by Viz Media, and it is coming out on August 17th, 2021, so uh, not too far away from now. If you're interested in picking up a copy of that, we're going to put a affiliate link down below so you can go grab it on Amazon if you're so inclined. And uh, this is a very exciting title because uh, it's one of the very few new series that have been coming out from Junji Ito, and uh, I know uh, there are many people like myself who have long since read all of Junji Ito's translated works online, and uh, most of these Viz volumes that are coming out may not be new material to everybody, but uh, I know I personally have been avoiding reading the translated version of Censor, and so I'm really excited to finally have a new Junji Ito series that I can actually read for the first time in a physical format. So uh, I'm very excited about that, and uh, I highly recommend picking one up if you're a fan of Junji Ito. The second title that's going to be coming out uh, in October on the 26th of 2021, so just in time for the Halloween season, is going to be a very special hardcover edition of Junji Ito's Cat Diaries, Yan and Moo. So anybody who has already read the currently published uh, smaller paperback uh, English version of this manga will be very familiar with this uh, series. It's a very, very popular one. In fact, I I'm pretty sure Junji Ito has gone on record to say that it's actually his best-selling manga, which is uh, kind of amazing to believe that that means it's sold more copies than Uzumaki, apparently. But uh, definitely a fan favorite, and uh, who doesn't like Junji Ito and cats? So this is going to be coming out uh, this October, and I'll put some uh, pictures up in the video here. It is absolutely beautiful looking. These, uh, of course, are mock-ups which are subject to change, but uh, they were put out by the publisher in advance to give folks an idea of what this is going to look like. So uh, I think it's going to be a great addition to anyone's collection. I've already got the soft cover, but I'm going to be picking this up just because it looks so good. So uh, definitely looking forward to that one. The next title that's going to be coming out relatively soon is yet another Junji Ito series. This one is called The Deserter, and it is coming out on December 21st of 2021. So it will be one of the last horror manga releases that you can look forward to during this calendar year. And uh, I've got to say, The Deserter is a fantastic story. It uh, itself is one short story, so this will actually be a compilation of many short stories, The Deserter just being one of them, and uh, anybody who has had the chance to read Museum of Terror Volume 3 will have read The Deserter in there. It's one of the stories that is in that very rare, very expensive uh, English volume published by Dark Horse. Uh, so it's nice to see one of the stories that has previously only been available for a pretty penny finally available at a more aff affordable price. And I know personally that The Deserter is actually one of my favorite Junji Ito short stories. It's just a really, really good story. Uh, and I haven't personally looked at the list of what else is going to be in that volume. I'm not sure there actually has been a published list. Uh, however, I believe this may be the same as the French version of this, which has already been released. So only time will tell if they're actually the same, but I know they are using the same cover art. So very excited to see this one get a translation, and I'm always happy to see more uh, Junji Ito short story compilations collected and translated, as there are a lot of untranslated Junji Ito short stories uh, that we have yet to get in physical form over here in the West. And last but not least, very, very excited to say that Hideshi Hino is getting his first uh, English translation in more than a decade now. 
he uh, is going to be putting out his City of Pigs book, which is going to be published by Starfruit Books. So it's the first horror manga that I've heard of that is going to be released early into 2022. Hopefully there'll be plenty more horror manga coming in 2022 as well, only time will tell. Uh, but this is a particularly special one just because it's Hideshi Hino, one of the grandfathers of horror manga as we know it today. And uh, I'm really excited to see that with this sort of wave of popularity that Junji Ito has been having, uh, some other uh, horror manga authors get to share in that and get some translated English works that I'm sure plenty of uh, new fans to horror manga that got into it through Junji Ito will probably be picking that up to see what else there is out there in the world of horror manga. And uh, this is actually a, a book that you can pre-order right now. I'll leave a link in the description to this one as well as uh, links to all of the uh, Amazon listings for the other books so that you can pre-order those. So if you're interested in picking this up, uh, you can just go drop a pre-order for that and just hold your breath until 2022 when your copy gets mailed to you. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just a quick one to let you guys know some really cool stuff that's coming up so that you don't miss any of these, because if the past is anything to go by, once these sell out, the prices start to go up, because uh, horror manga is a pretty niche collectible sort of genre. So definitely grab these while you can, while they're still available uh, for pre-order or shortly after they've been printed. And uh, I hope you guys are able to grab a copy. If you guys are interested in any of these, if you've pre-ordered any of these books, if you managed to snag a pre-order of The City of Pigs by Hideshi Hino, leave me a comment down below. I'm curious to see how many people are keeping an eye out for these new series. As usual, if you guys like this video, give it a like. If you want to see me cover anything particular or uh, review any specific horror manga, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. If you like this sort of video, definitely subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any other content like this, and you can hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of our videos when they go live. That'll do it for this one, guys, and uh, I hope you have a good one. Good night. Good night.